it's Lauren, and in today's video, I'm doing a huge Sephora sale haul. I love doing hauls. You guys love seeing hauls. It's basically a win-win. I actually just got back from Sephora and cannot wait to film for you guys. I picked up a bunch of products that are new at Sephora. I picked up a bunch of products that have been on my wish list for a while, and a bunch of products that you guys actually recommended to me to pick up, and I'm super excited about that. And I wanted to share them with you as soon as possible because I really wanted you to have the opportunity to hear kind of what I picked up, maybe products that you would want to pick up. If you already have a couple products on your wish list for the sale, be sure to let me know what those are down below. Love hearing from you guys, and maybe I need to make another purchase. Um, just so you guys know, Sephora is doing a little Sephora appreciation sale event because they have revamped their reward system and I'm super excited about that also because they have finally like made their reward system really competitive with Ulta's like if not better I'm super excited about that all the information about both the reward system and the sale down below in the description box but I didn't want to spend a ton of the video talking about like all the logistics of all that but I wanted to talk about products and what I think you guys should pick up what I decided to pick up just all of that sales are great and I'm super excited for it so if you want to see me talk about these products in future videos Videos. If you want to see more of the fun, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below as well as clicking that notification bell so you will not miss out on future videos. And if you guys enjoy these type of haul videos, be sure to give this a thumbs up. It really does help me and my channel out. And now that we have the self promo out of the way, let's get into the video. So this product, I feel like a lot of people are talking about on YouTube, but they're not really talking about this shade in particular. I have the Bite Beauty French Press Lip Gloss. This is just like the packaging. There's a little something on it. They only had like one other in the store, but it didn't have the product in the packaging. So I wasn't gonna get that one, so I just kinda got this one. This is in the shade Dirty Chai. And I'll show you what it looks like. I think it's really pretty. I think it's gonna be a great fall color. You guys know I love a good gloss. And what I love about these is they are scented like coffee. And I just think that is amazing. I'm gonna put a swatch of it on my hand. I really, really like it. I like the formula. I feel like it's not, you know, too opaque, but it's also not too transparent either, which I really like. Here's what it looks like. I feel like it's gonna be great for fall. I'm super excited. I'll have to keep you posted because really I just tried it on in store. One thing I will say is, of course, I bought it because, like, it smells like coffee, but the more and more, like, I kept smelling it in store, and honestly, I don't know if I just got a dud, but I really don't think this one smells like coffee, you guys. If that's the only reason you're getting it, I don't know if I'd really say go for it, but I really do like the color of this product, so I'm excited about it. Alright guys, so I got another gloss. It wouldn't be me if I didn't. This is the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm. This is in the shade Fenty Glow. They really only have one shade, so I don't know why I felt the need to say that. But I love glosses. I love Fenty Beauty. This is literally, like I've been eyeing this since like the minute it came out. Um, I really feel like it looks good on like just about anyone and I love the shade. It's super natural. Here is what um, the product looks like. I love the formula on this. Whenever I go into Sephora, I feel like I'm always trying this on. And I'm normally very, like, I don't know, like, I'm kind of, like, ambivalent about it. Like, I can never decide, like, is this really something I want to pick up? But I finally decided it's just I got to do it. It's super natural, super pretty. I love the size of it. And it smells amazing, you guys. It's, I can't really like capture it. It's like a vanilla y strawberry. I've never heard someone describe it like this, but that is what I smell. Um, the applicator is super big. I just kind of wanted to mention that. And now I'm going to put a little swatch of it on my hand. It really is, you guys. It's super natural. And I feel like it's great for everyday wear, which is one of the reasons I picked it up. That's the shade. You see, I just think it's so pretty. I really am super excited to see it on my own lips and I'm so glad to finally own it. All right, so the next product is actually a perfume. It's something a little different for me. It is the Fresh Life Eau de Parfum. Um, normally when I get perfumes, I'm normally just getting something that's either super floral or super sweet. This is like nothing I've tried before. It's definitely not my normal go-to scent, but that is probably the reason I'm so attracted to it. It's just super clean. Here's what the packaging of the actual product looks like. I think it is adorable. Not the reason I got it, but still. It's super cute. You get 30 milliliters or one fluid ounce um, in this product. And it said, like I looked up the notes because I'm kind of having trouble like thinking of how to describe it. You've got grapefruit, you've got lilac leaves, you've got transparent magnolia, you've got silk amber, you've got warm orange. I mean, that's kind of what they're saying. They have a ton listed here. I'm gonna try and spray it and like see what comes to mind. It's kind of got this like really clean, really fresh scent, but with a light like citrusy, lemon, orange undertone to it. 
I really like it. I think it's something super unique, super different. If you're on the hunt for kind of a more clean, perfumey scent, I definitely recommend checking this out. Definitely go and spray it in store. See what you think. See how it oxidizes on your own skin and try it out. So the next product I got, I actually really caved on it. I didn't think I was ever going to end up getting this, but it's been on my wish list since like the beginning of time. Um, it is the Stila Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. Here's the packaging. You can't really see. It's kind of like reflective. I got mine in the shade Kitten Karma. And you guys, I've literally been eyeing this like forever. I love glittery eyeshadow, but I just wasn't sure about this because it does have such mixed reviews. People either really love this product or they really hate it, saying it's going to transfer everywhere, it's going to have major fallout, but I don't know. I just don't see how it could. Here's what the product looks like. Sorry, it's like doing the reflecting thing. Um, And I'll show you guys what the shade looks like. I really like it. I'm wearing it on my lids right now. I decided to try it on right when I got home because I had to redo my makeup anyway. Um, and then here is the glitter. Here's what it looks like. I'm really intrigued by it. Super excited to see kind of how it goes. So far, I've not noticed any fallout, noticed any really transferring. You definitely can't be super precise with it, but I don't know really what you'd expect from this. I'm super excited about it. Alright guys, so the next product is also one from Stila. I got this kind of on a whim. I was not expecting to pick this up. Do I need another highlighter? No. Did I want to try out a cool like Instagrammy type like cream putty product? Yes. Um, so here is the Stila Heaven's Hue Highlighter. Here's the packaging. It's a little reflective. Um, this product is so different for me. I never try this type of product. I feel like it's kind of like a gimmicky product, but that's kind of the reason it intrigued me. And when I tried it out on my skin, you guys, I kept applying it and applying it. It just looked gorgeous. I was like, am I just going crazy? Do I just want to buy something? Maybe. But I thought it looked super pretty, super natural on the skin. So here is what the outside of the packaging looks like. And now I'll show you the shade. This product is kind of like a putty product. I have mine in the shade Transcendence. Look at that. I think that looks so gorgeous. You can kind of just like put your it reminds me a lot of like the long time like glow subtle highlighters because it has like that like cushiony effect here's what a swatch of it looks like on the hand it's kind of got like a purple reflect to it again something super different for me um you can't really see it like that well i just think it has this super natural like sheen and glow and i'm really excited about it because lately i feel like i haven't really been into like a super blinding highlight and feel I kind of feel like this is a good like natural alternative. All right guys, so the next product is kind of a splurge for me. I normally would not pay this price for an eyeshadow, but I kept swatching it and I kept thinking that it looked gorgeous and would be like the perfect type of product for me. So that's what I did. I've heard great things on the internet and decided to pick it up. This is the Hourglass Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadow. That's what the packaging like box packaging looks like. Let me show you what this little product looks like. It's nothing like incredibly special. I don't think, I don't know. But the actual product is what I really love. Here's what the shadow kind of looks like. It's kind of reflective, so you can't really tell. But I really like this. It comes with like a little cap because it is a pressed glitter. So you'll just take that off and then you'll have this. Look at that gorgeous shade. This is the shade Reflect. It's got kind of a champagne color so pretty you guys I might need to end up using a little bit of fix plus with this when I like apply it to my eyes but I did in store and I thought it looked so pretty you just dip your finger in there this is going to be so great for every day I'm hoping um there's what the shade looks like see you can't tell that much I don't want something super crazy I don't think this has too much glitter in it I think it's just a really nice shade I'm really excited to just throw it on my lids when I'm in a rush and then kind of have like that like natural kind of like I didn't try but like I did look so I'm super excited about this I know it was a pretty penny but I think it's gonna be worth it and I'll have to let you guys know all right guys so the last product I decided to pick up is actually very similar to the product I just talked about it's another one of those kind of pressed glitter potted shadows this is the Tarte Chrome Paint Shadow um I have mine in the shade Top Yacht and the actual packaging of the product really reminds me of like their clay potted eyeliners um, it's got this little rose gold lid, and it's just like a pot. Um, I'll show you guys what the inside looks like. I have already taken a swatch out of this one just because it's so pretty. This has got, it's kind of like a gold champagne top, yacht is. Here's what it looks like. It's so pretty. There's so much pigment on this. Let me show you the swatch compared to the other one, too. Do you see that? That is like intensity. Like, that is 
no like anything no primer no fix plus no nothing i'm super excited about this i think it's going to be great for those days when i just want something quick something easy or when i'm something wanting something with like super crazy intensity super excited about this Alright guys, that is it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it and maybe found a few products that you're going to want to pick up for the sale. Um, if you did and enjoy haul videos, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up so that I can know to do more like this in the future. If you enjoyed this video and you're not already subscribed and you want to see more of my content, you want to join the family, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Also, click that notification bell right next to it so you'll be notified for my future videos, future posts future everything. Also, um, I know that like a lot of that can sound like super insincere and, and you know, whatever you think about that, but I really am just so appreciative for each and every one of you that come back to watch my content like continually, or even if it's your first time, if you're a subscriber, like whatever the circumstance is, if you're here watching this video, I'm so thankful for you. That's the reason I'm doing this. So if you guys have video recommendations, let me know those down below so that I can do what you want to see. I can make content for you. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you guys have a great few days until I post my next video and I'll see you guys in the next one.